Hey, what's going on, everybody? I've got another one for you today. We're looking at a, another Windows PE environment or WinPE environment. So what I'm going to do here is boot into the Ultimate USB version 2. I'll have that link down below if you guys are interested in checking out any of my USBs. Uh, we're going to go into the Multi-Tools category, and then we're going to go to Tux PE. I'm going to drink some coffee. We're going to let this boot up, and we'll see what it's all about. All right, guys, so this is not a huge ISO, so it was a pretty quick boot there into the environment as I would uh, anticipate. When I say not a huge ISO, it's about 1.2 gigs, 1.1 gigs, um, so relatively large compared to the recent review that I did on OnkTech, especially the OnkTech Mini, which was only like, it was under 300 megabytes. So let's see how this stacks up against something like that. Okay, guys, so we got a pretty classic Windows 10 looking layout here. Um, I do, this is not connected. That's because the, or is it? I don't think I configured VirtualBox as far as a network. Yeah, but it does automatically try to pick up your uh, Ethernet settings. So if you do have your um, Ethernet cable plugged in, if you're doing this from a laptop or your, your virtual machine is set up for network connectivity, that should work automatically, which is always a plus with these PE environments. Comes with the browser right on the desktop, Mozilla. And then we've got this PC. So I'm assuming this is just, yeah, the basic stuff here. All right, there we go. Okay, so when I hit the start charm here, we've got, again, Mozilla Firefox, File Explorer. We have Command Prompt. We've got a system, downloads, this PC, control panel, and run. So pretty classic, pretty basic. Um, Nothing too fancy yet, but it's organized, it's sleek, it looks pretty good. All right, so we click on all programs. Right at the top here, I see Agent Ransack. Now, I believe this is a uh, file search tool. Let's see if it works. Yeah, so this is a utility for searching across your computer for different files. So not the most common tool, but it is a handy utility if you guys have never seen it. I wonder if this will be a theme, some more uh, less typical, a little more obscure type of programs, but I don't have a problem with that as long as they work and they're good programs. We have a change log. We won't look at that, but I'm sure there's um, a log of what's changed over the different versions. File Explorer, Firefox, Read Me First. I'm sure this is an informational. Yeah, I've got a table of contents, introduction, history, how to prepare your system. Um, then it looks like a conclusion here, and the author is Jack Chiles, or Jack Chiles. Uh, senior system admin, I would expect that, and a chief thaumaturge. I think that's like a magician or something. I'm not sure. All right, so back to the programs. Uh, backup tools. Okay, only two. Uh, back for sure. And Macrium Reflect, this is a popular one. Let's just test one of these, make sure they launch. Boots right up, I like that. All right, diagnostic tools, a little more of a selection here. We have Auto Runs, VG Info. This, man, I've been using this for a long time. Blue Screen View, let's check out what that does. Oh, okay, this must be a, uh, for dump files, you can come in here and, yeah, this makes sense. So your dump file, your bug check code, bug check string, that's pretty cool. So utility if you're having uh, stop error codes and you need help diagnosing and troubleshooting those. Um, nowadays it's just throw it at ChatGPT, but if you need a utility to help you with that, this is probably a good one. This looks like a hard drive scan tool, uh, malware bytes installer. So uh, yeah, okay, so this is not a portable malware bytes. I'm assuming. Let's check. Yeah, this is actually an install of malware bytes. Just fine. I'm assuming it would install in this PE environment and then. <clears throat> this is not persistent, so next time you boot, you'd have to do it again. But no big deal, especially if you have network connectivity on here, you can get the latest updates for Malwarebytes, so that's uh, it's better than no antivirus at all. Uh, Memtest, that's a classic specy. I'm assuming this will give you the specs on your PC. Yeah, pretty cool looking too. Okay, it's analyzing. We'll give this a second. OK, 
Okay, that took a little bit there, but that's okay. Um, I have noticed this is not the... Not to knock it or anything like that. I am running a virtual machine, but I have done my other reviews in the same virtual machine. It's not the snappiest PE environment, um, but it's pretty solid so far. Everything has worked that we've launched. So yeah, Specy, just what I thought. It's a uh, computer spec, hardware spec um, utility. So this is showing me my CPUs, AMD processor. Don't see as much information. Let's see if we actually click on CPU. Oh, okay, here. That was just a high-level summary. If we click on the informational, uh, or if we click on the specifics on the left, you get a ton of information. So, yeah, pretty nice. It shows I'm running the uh, Ryzen 7 7700X 8-core processor. It's going to show me my bus speed, core speed, all that good stuff. So, yeah, actually, this is very detailed. So this does give you a, a lot of information here. Very nice. Took a, a little bit to load, but <clears throat> that's okay. All right, guys, let's move on. See, that mouse is not super snappy, but that could just be my VM. Sometimes they don't run as fast as a actual thick client. All right, so I think we were under diagnostic. Yeah, that was specy and MTR. I'm not sure what this guy is, to be honest. It looks like an HTML um, utility might have to come back do some research on that. I've never used this application to be honest with you. Yeah, see that's not super fast to close. All right, so moving on to driver tools, we have two tools here: install Windows Basic Video Driver, load unload drivers. Okay. We have a couple of file tools. Um, this one I'm definitely familiar with, Winderstat. If you ever have a drive that fills up and you're not sure, like. What's filling up my hard drive, right? Like, it's not obvious to you. It's not in your downloads or whatever. <laughs> Good utility to run is Winterstat. Another one would be tree size. Uh, it gives you a graphical layout. It's not going to be a great example here because there's really not much on here. But we can look at the USB itself, and it'll show us. Um, not that there's not a lot on here. It's just this isn't your typical, like, Windows operating system drive, right? So, like, a system drive, it would really drill down but you can see here it's a nice layout uh, multi-tools directories using 23.8 percent and then you can drill down from there and you'll see metacad obviously the big guys using 53 so on and so forth it makes a little more sense when you boot this or use this in an actual live windows environment i shouldn't say live i should say installed windows environment but yeah winterstat and uh, tree size are both good for that and we have Explore Q Directory or QDIR and Wise Data Recovery. I'm assuming this is like a undelete type of utility. And then Q Directory. This looks interesting. Multi file explorers, from what I can see here. Kind of cool. I mean, with Windows 11, I prefer the file explorer where you have um, where you can tabify it so you just open more tabs that's pretty cool but this is this is different this is cool okay moving on to network tools looks like we have PE network and then we have uh, RDP or remote, remote desktop connection there let's see what PE is it's just the configuration for the PE network let's open that up see what it does Okay, nothing popped up, so I'm not sure if that's just what's down here. Yeah, that's just PE network. So that's just going to be the network configuration management of the actual PE environment. Um, again, remote desktop connection. Uh, Windows accessories, uh, pretty good ones here. We have 7-zip file manager, calculator, imaging devices. So these are like built-in um, or things that are often included with Windows. Uh, maybe not 7-zip, but notepad, paint, snipping tool. You've got a PDF viewer there, uh, PowerShell, and PowerShell modules. That's kind of cool. WordPad. And the last category here is Windows System. Uh, caffeine. This is an uh, interesting one. Not super common, but this will send like uh, mouse movement or keystrokes or something to your computer every so often so that your computer doesn't go to sleep. Uh, hence the name caffeine kind of either command prompt directx diags we've got a uh, image disk virtual drive management ntp w edit 
remote reg edit, synchronized letters, and system recovery. Synchronized letters. Yeah, not sure what that does. Select OS. Maybe it's for like drive letters. Not really sure. I'm not gonna mess with that one though. All right, guys. So that's that looks like that's about it. Let's see what the control panel looks like. Pretty basic. Let's switch this to small icons. Yeah, so you've got most of the uh, built-in Windows 10 options here. It's not a full-blown control panel, but you know there's stuff there for WinPE. So not bad. Um, I think everything that we launched did work. And actually, it looks like it did pick up my network now at this point. Let's just test that. So that may have just taken a while. No, it didn't. Never mind. And that, again, that could be on my virtual box. I haven't really configured anything on here. So this is just a test box for booting into USBs. Um, I'd say this is a, a middle of the road. And it's it's a tough act to follow when you're coming right after OnkTech. Because again, that was a very impressive WinPE environment. Um, but Tux PE here is, is decent. You know, if this is all you had to work with, I think you could, you could do quite a bit with it. I don't know that you could do anything you needed to, but, um, if I had to put this against the OnkTech, even the mini, I don't think it's going to stand a chance to be honest. It wasn't as snappy. It's, I don't know why it's almost two gigs. I'm sorry. Why it's over one gig. It's like 1.2 gigs. And then OnkTech Mini is under 300 megs. So um, I don't want to say this is bad or lackluster. I'd say it's middle of the road, a decent WinPE environment. It's got some of the stuff you need, and it works, so there's that. Uh, what do you guys think? Have you used Tux PE? Did I miss something? Uh, what's your go-to? I know some of you guys are commenting saying Medicat, and you definitely can't go wrong with Medicat. Uh, I know some of you are Sergey Strelek fans. Uh, a couple of you have commented on the OnkTech video saying this is the best one. It's a Sergey killer. Um, I think when you get to those top dogs, again, you really can't go wrong. But uh, if you haven't picked up the Ultimate USB version 2 yet, head over there and grab one. You'll have all these plus a whole lot more, 57 in one. Um, yeah, guys, I guess I don't sound super excited because uh, this one didn't blow my socks off, the Tux PE. Again, it's it's okay. It's decent. And I don't mean to take anything away from these guys who build these, because I know it's not easy. It takes a lot of time and effort. So uh, it's better than the PE environment that I've built, because I haven't built one yet. But I, I will get around to that eventually, guys. So again, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, share this with your friends. Maybe they haven't heard of Tux PE. And until the next one, I hope you all have a great day, and take care.